cleaned up. Driving out with Scout today. There's the in the back there. Uh, we're gonna go to part of the Trans Canada Trail. See how far we can walk. I've uh, been reading this book called Hiker Mike, and it's really inspired me to uh, do a little bit more hiking. I always usually, usually go to the bush and just kind of bum around, have a fire and stuff. And uh, I don't think that's enough exercise for the dog. So with that in mind, and with the new inspiration from this book, I'm going to see how many kilometers I can do today. All right, I'm finally out of the city, and this is what. My county looks like. <clears throat> I watched I Hatch and Jack's video the other day and said he was in Kansas. Uh, this pretty much looks the same as that. Uh, there's a bit of trees up that way, but nice and flat. Alright, I've been walking for a while now. Uh, here's the second sign I've come across. Here's a little bit of the scenery. Let's go, come. Um, just flat, flat farmland. That is where I live. Uh, a lot of people think Canada is all northern boreal forest, but uh, for a good four or five hours drive on the highway uh, north of here, this is what it's like. Yep, my own piece of heaven. All right, I'm coming up on a huge patch of uh, staghorn sumac. That's the uh, buds that you can make a tea out of. Let's go. Come on, get out of the farmer's field. Let's go. You can um, you squeeze it like to bruise up the, the bud a bit, and then just boil it in water. A lot of people know that already. Actually, staghorn sumac is uh, it's doable for the bow drill too, but uh, it's defeated me on more than one occasion. Now for something a little bit different, a bend in the trail. I don't know if you can see it up there, but it bends slightly to the left. I've been walking for a good four kilometers just straight, like as the crow flies. Uh, I'm hoping to come across some bush soon so I can stop and maybe have a fire and have a lunch or something. But we shall see. I've never been on this trail before. I've been uh, back. I started at kilometer five. I've only been up to kilometer five before, so I drove to to where I left off last time. We shall see. I'll keep you updated. Okay, I was mistaken. I said I was at least four kilometers in. Turns out I'm only now three kilometers in. It's eight kilometer mark there. But the good news is I found a little patch of bush. Um, tiny, tiny wood. So I'm going to try and get in there and get out of the wind for a minute. I don't know if that's possible. Uh, yeah. I want to cross on a log, I think, because I only got my, my hikers on, my morels. I'm going to get soaked. It's still going to be about three kilometers out, and then that's six kilometers back, so 12k. Uh, we'll see. I'll get in the woods and show you. Well, I'm in the woods. I almost wish I hadn't come in. There's, uh, I don't know, kids probably hang out here or something. It's all trashed beer bottles and old piece of plastic and old school desk. The word crunk spray painted on a tree. Somebody was getting crunk, I guess. Oh, what's this? Nice old chair that's been burned. And a random plastic barrel with the word crunk spray paint on it. Come here, Scout. Huh. Well, I think I'm gonna try and find another patch of woods considering this is just mud and garbage. That's disappointing. Flying V. Can you even see it in there? Uh, I don't think you can. Well, I found another little bush in a minute. Wow, it's really wet. Everywhere is 
little sinkholes, and it's pretty, uh, pretty scraggly bush. But I'm gonna make the best of it and use it as a wind block because it's pretty windy on the trail. I'm gonna have a little snack and to stay dry, I am standing on plywood. <laughs> but that's alright. It's an adventure. I haven't been here before, and that's uh, that's what I'm liking about it. So. I'm going to have a little snack and then continue on the trail. This goat's going to snack on some snow, apparently. There's a sign I've come across. It's about uh, talking about the fox, the red fox, or Vulpes Vulpes in Latin. Um, talking about how it eats moles and mice. How it goes about doing that. And that's... Uh, I don't know if you can read it, part of the Trans-Canada Trail sign, so I'm, I'm figuring, I don't know, but I'm guessing that they have these signs all over it. Uh, it's the first one I've seen, so that's pretty cool. And Scout is patiently waiting to get on with the walk. Walk for almost two hours now. It's pretty cold, I should have wore a uh, Another layer, a wind barrier. I've only got my little wool, uh, I don't know, it's like a wool blend jacket or uh, sweater on. And the terrain's pretty much the same. And just right now, there's some, uh, looks like sumac without the buds on either side. And I just walked past the golf course, if that's, that's something new. Fragmites reeds there. Yeah, here's the fields. I'm hoping there's going to be some different uh, scenery soon. Maybe some good sized bush or something. It kind of looks like it up ahead. I'll uh, see you when I get there, I guess. There's the 10k mark. So it means I've walked for 5k so far. As I actually found a nice patch of woods, but I'm gonna have to give up on that idea because it's underwater, and I imagine all of the woods around here are gonna be. Uh, considering I already got half a soaker on one foot, I don't want to push it. I'm not even gonna venture in there. I'm just gonna keep on trekking, I think. And. Uh, make today be all, all about uh, just the walk but it's nice to know that this is here in a uh, drier time of year I can come and maybe, maybe do this walk and camp here all right come on scout let's get to going back to the straight and narrow really messed up I found like a cow burial ground um, there's the hoof, obviously. That looks like a sheep's head. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. That's a horse head, or... No, it had antlers. That's a freaking moose head. We don't have moose around here. What the heck? Wait there. Oh my god. This is disgusting. How is there a moose head here? Look, the antler has been sawn off. Obviously, that's not a horse head if they had an antler. And we don't have moose here. Oh my goodness. I don't think I should be here. I better get out of here. Ugh, what is going on? This is like intestines and I think that's the skin of a cow. Huge bones. Oh my god. Come, Scout. This is this way. Get over there. Come. Wow, this is not cool. 
I'm actually kind of tripped out. All right, that was the patch of woods I was in there when I found all that stuff. Um, no, it's not that strange, obviously, to have like a dead cow, uh, a couple farm animals or something. But literally, where I live, there's no moose for a good, I don't know, six hour, seven hour drive from here, uh, going north. And uh, for it just to be out in the woods like that, a moose head, to be out in the woods like that is, it just, it, I don't know, I can't explain it. Um, obviously somebody killed it up north and brought it down here, but why would they just leave a head in the woods? Uh, maybe I'm just, I don't know. Anyways, that was weird. I'm going to probably stick to the trail now. <laughs> Alright, so that's kilometer 12. I had only planned on doing up to 11 and then back, so that would be 12 because I started at 5. So now I'm at 12 and uh, if I turn around now that's 14, 14 kilometers. Uh, and I think I will turn around but I just want to go up here to see what this inter intersecting road is. So next time when I'm coming to do it. oh. A little shelter down there. Um, so next time when I'm coming to do it, I can just pull up to this road instead of doing the uh, the same part of the trail again. Well, the terrain has definitely changed. This is more of like a swampy uh, area. I'm on a bridge right now. And the intersecting road is right up there. The car about to pass it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. There it goes. But uh, I'm pretty tired. I haven't walked in, well, walked for this amount of time in a long time. It's only been two, just over two hours, but straight walking, other than the little moose head fiasco. bunch of birds tripping which is pretty cool. <coughs> Alright so the road County Road 12. Now we turn around and walk back. Another seven kilometers. Uh, there should be a site for sore eyes. So I did 14 kilometers, uh, it took me about four hours, four and a half hours, but I did stop for about, I don't know, maybe half an hour total. <sighs> Thanks for coming along guys.